time to do some stupid shit again. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Wanna see? Let's uh let's get something that's been sitting for what looks like a decade. Yeah, I don't know. Five years. Let's see if we can get it running. Been working. I actually saw this machine run a long, long time ago. We have a 1968 Baker with a 1974 Hercules flathead six-cylinder motor in it. It's completely missing its carburetor. Track it down to a TSX887. Transfers over to a Zenith. 14997 nobody has them luckily daytona parts actually had a 14999 which uh one of the jets is five points bigger so let's take that 475 dollar carburetor that i'm happy to pay and see if we can get this thing to crank up yeah let's lube everything first with some wd because oof it's rough. Can't see them. But we got a top gun up in the sky looking for weather balloons. Anyway, I got some zip ties. So uh, we should be able to fix it, right? Still not working. Here's the Zenith updraft carburetor. We're going to put a fuel inlet on it. Fuel filter, and I got everything but hose lamps. Awesome battery. Let's uh, put the battery in it and see if it at least spins over first. How about that? Yeah. It's got some juice. I don't know. I didn't check oil or coolant. Right now, I just want to spin her over. Found the key. Uh, yeah, let's see. Nope, nothing. All right, let's figure that out. I don't think I got power going to my switch or anything. If I remember right, this little light used to come on when I got power. But I'm not getting nothing. So let's just jump the battery directly, not the battery, the starter. See if the motor spins. It does. It's unhappy, but it does. Got my, my rolling art show coming by. Anyway, we put a, ooh, that was nice. We put a fresh battery in here. I got my power probe out. Um, Let's jump the starter one more time. That's not working. Hmm, is it not working? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. All right. Motor sounds good. Now we just need to get power to everything. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh. See the light? That was the issue. Nice. All right. Oh. Fuel pump's doing fuel pump things. Let's turn that off. I bet there's a mess over there. Let's go check. And let's turn this off. Fuel pump works. Oh, I need to move this trailer because I cannot fit in that small little tiny passageway. Okay, no fuel yet. So we'll let that run momentarily a little longer after we uh Let's assemble this carburetor and get it in place. Yeah. Let's do that. Didn't come with the studs. I had to make the studs because it's an awkward position. But let's put the fuel inlet in it. Gasket and another fuel filter and run some stuff. Carburetor installed. Still got to do the choke, which means I got to go get a little tiny screwdriver for some of these set screws. Find the piece to hold this in place. I've got the linkage where it should be uh tighten the screw down figure out what to do with this governor looking thingy i don't know how that shit works probably go here pull on the thingy 
Uh, right now, I want to change some fuel filters over there and see if I can get some fuel flow uh, before we hook all that up. And then I gotta find a, this is an oil bath filter, find a new tube because this one just disintegrated. I'd rather run it open versus that. Uh, today's goal is just to get this thing fired up and then I've got to go get my rollback to pull it out of this hole and find air. See how long these tires will hold air pressure. I see a bolt in one of them, so I don't think it's going to hold more than a few seconds. Anyway, let's do filters and a prime pump. Okie dokie. I got some fuel. I got some B12 in it. I got the lines and the filter hooked up here. So let's see if we can get some prime action. Oh yeah, there we go. Squirt, squirt, squirt. All right, that'll be a good fire right there. Sweet. So we have fuel. That smells amazing. All right, I got another filter over there. So let's um, hook that end up. Yep, let's do that. All right, let's turn on everything. Let's see if we have any fuel leaks. Fuel filter there, we have fuel flowing. there no leaks <laughs> just for shits and giggles hmm I need another hand to open the throttle Need another hand or a foot yeah let me get a foot okay i know i've got fuel pressure now but it did not crank so let's see if we got sparky sparky because this thing has been sitting a long time and it may not have sparky sparky all right keep an eye on that let me know there we go no sparky sparky let's see if we got power going to this uh coil also, another way to test, if you don't have a spark tester, still no sparky sparky. I cannot seem to get this thing to spark. Put a couple of sets of points in there. They weren't like their originals, so I cleaned up the old ones, put them back, used a new condenser. We got a new coil. I've used a couple of used coils. Still can't get it to spark. Plenty of power, 12 volts. All that good stuff. So, I'm gonna break out my old continuity tester here. Make sure some of the simple things are right, like the wire's not broken internally. That one or this one going to the sugar. And essentially start over. I'd love to find a Chevy style HEI distributor, but yeah, good luck finding that on this old ass flathead motor. Here we go. Put the original points of condenser back in with the new coil. I got 12, I got 12, and just a little spark. I did get one little backfire with some ether. Um, batteries are charging. I don't think it's got enough oomph to create a vacuum to pull some fuel up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning and maintenance. I just cleaned the plugs. They still look surprisingly new. Uh, I'm gonna pull this plate off, see if there's any weird random things there while the batteries are charging. Here we go. And I ordered new points. I think I finally found the right ones. Uh, yeah, I ordered some points and another condenser from O'Reilly. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Like 1962 Chevrolet straight six. Anyway, here we go. All right, another set of points and condensers. Had to modify the points because they weren't right neither, but whatever. Let's put this junk on and see if it works. Multitasking. It's alive! Sweet! Call this good. Uh, now I'm gonna get fuel to it and make it do shit.
Short lift actually runs. Pretty good on its own. Had to use the rollback to pull it out the hole, but then I drove it over here. Uh, no brakes. So we had the one pivot point right here. That's held on with this little pin. One brake line, two bolts. So now we're gonna see if we can clean this up and put it back together. Believe it or not, that is super clean compared to what it did look like. It's amazing what a little bit of diesel, some wire brushes, some brake cleaning, and brake fluid will do. Yep. Now I gotta find a cap. I don't know where to find one. So I just ran over my foot with the fork lift. Kind of hurts. Yep, that's gonna be interesting later. I'm not uh, it split the seam on the boot. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm not uh, walk it off. Walk it off. It'll be fine. Right? Yep. Got a mess to clean up. It's been sitting for a couple of days. Let's see if uh, she start this morning. Pull up on the choke. Got the light. Oh, that's nice. I need a. Um, I think that one over there, the red one. I'm gonna take the seat off of that one and see if I can make it work on here. Try not to run my foot over today and actually sit on this thing as we drive it. Oh, yeah. That little scraping is the uh, emergency brake rust where it had been used forever. Let's see if I can scoop this thing up out of the way. Oh, brakes. There we go. Let's get under here and see if there's anything worth saving. If not, trash it. I need some air. Super happy. <laughs>